Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another super, super exciting, awesome video. If you guys saw, it would have been maybe a little over a month ago. It would have been in December around my birthday or on my birthday. I can't totally remember. I think it was on my birthday um, that Mickey and I had decided we were going to do like a makeup exchange of sorts and send each other a bunch of our favorite makeup. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, I will link both hers, um, like her video of what I got her here and my video of what she got me here. Uh, so you guys can check those out to see the awesome stuff she got me last time. And if you watched my video of me unboxing, you would have heard me constantly saying, I need to get her more. She outdid my hair is a disaster. Um, I need to get her more. She outdid me. She outdid me. So, uh, there is a second exchange in process. And when I say in process, I mean, I got Mickey's box <laughs> that she sent me, <laughs> but hers is still sitting on my floor. And the reason is that a lot of you guys know, I just started a new job like three weeks ago and it has been just eating away my time um, just because I'm not used to working a typical like 40 hour a week job. I'm normally used to like working a night here, a night here, a day here, whatever. Um, like I used to work 40 hours a week, but it didn't seem that way because it was broken up over seven days rather than like typical eight hour work days. Anyway, enough about that. So I'm a horrible friend and uh, I haven't sent hers yet, but it is sitting on my floor and I'm going to send it tomorrow. And I guess the bonus about not sending it yet now that I have her gift is that if she outdoes me again, I can add more. I'm hoping I don't need to, but um, because the box is already uh, pretty full, I don't know that I'm going to be able to fit more, but at least I'll know. And uh, I have a feeling she outdid me again because this box is huge. It is bigger than last time. And I know that because I am using the box that she sent me last time to ship to her and I will be shipping it out tomorrow. Uh, a hundred percent. I wanted to do it today. Sorry, this box is going to cover me now. I wanted to do it today, but I had to go to a baby shower today. And, um, yeah, the, the post office in the shoppers drug mart where I live is already closed. It closed at four, but it opens again at noon tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. So Mickey, I know you're watching. It's not if you're watching, I know you're watching. I am sending it tomorrow a hundred, hundred percent. Everything's in it. Everything's done now. I was waiting on one thing from my brother that was like really, really special and personalized for me to give her. And he finally finished that. So everything's in the box next to me. You'll be getting it hopefully next week. Um, so I'm going to stop ranting and I'm going to open this so you guys can see what she got me. Um, just because we weren't sure if we were going to, um, share these because like we said, we're not doing this to be show offs on, on our channels. And I hope nobody thinks that of either of us and we're not doing it. I'm um, sorry. I don't mean to make tons of noise. I'm trying to peel the envelope off the top so I can get into the box. Um, we're not doing this to, like I said, to brag about getting stuff. We're not doing this to brag about what we got each other. We're not even really doing this, um, you know, to garner more subscribers or what have you. We're not doing it for any reason. We are doing this purely because she is a dear, dear friend of mine. Um, we're trying to figure out when I can actually go down to California to go see her just because I'm in my new job and it's literally 18 months of training uh, to do what I'm going to be doing. So during those 18 months, I cannot take time off uh, unless it is vacation time that's just given to me just because there will be some periods of time where I get several days off. We're trying to figure out when I can go down there to go see her. Um, she is a great friend to me um, and we both love to spoil our friends. So like I said, after the last time, I knew I wanted to get her more. Um, this is probably going to be an ongoing thing. Definitely not this frequently, I don't think. Like this is quite frequent. It's been two giant packages in the course of two months. Uh, it won't happen like that all the time, but I think we're going to do this. And I personally am sharing this because I want you guys to see how amazing and how generous and how sweet and thoughtful of a person she is. Um, I'm not 100% sure if she's going to be sharing what I got her. She is definitely going to film it so that I can see her reaction because that's the best part about giving gifts is seeing if the other person likes them or not. Uh, and I hope she does. And I'm sure I'm going to love everything she got me. I did last time. I cried. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if she's going to share what I got her, but I definitely want to show you guys what she got me. So that's just a personal choice that I made. And if she chooses not to, that's her decision. Um, so like I said, I'm trying not to cut myself. They did a really good job taping this box shut. 
and we were having like some issues like I kept getting emails from UPS about customs brokerage and Mickey was saying that they were having a really hard time shipping it down like they got phone calls from customs to fill out extra paperwork and stuff it was just crazy but it's here now I'm so excited and I am so once again she packed hers way better than I will have packed mine so I'm gonna save all this bubble wrap and put it in her packaging and oh my gosh this is adorable you guys you guys all know Mickey and I are like she is the Anna to my Elsa we did the frozen tutorial and look look what she sent me it's all wrapped in frozen paper Oh, I'm so excited. That alone makes me happy. And it's so funny because we talked and last time I sent her like all numbered gifts because I wanted her to open them in a certain order and I wanted to do a little like something with all of them. Um, and she sent me just packages with little tags on them and it was no order. I could open them however I wanted. So I actually did what she did next time. Like I'll just show you guys because it's sitting next to me. So like this is like one of the little gifty things that I got her all wrapped up and then I made a bunch of these little like tags these adorable tags and then don't read this because she'll figure out what it is before I send it to her and each one says like something about what's in them so I took a note out of her like a page out of her book and did it this way and just from looking at it like it looks like she put like, do you see the number four all over this it looks like she put little numbers all over it so I'm gonna read the card first um, I might read it to myself because last time I wasn't supposed to read the card and I did. Um, so I'll do exactly what I did last time where I'll read it. And then um, if she, if ultimately I decide it's not for your guys' ears, I'll cut this out and start opening. And uh, if you guys can hear it, then I'll keep it in. So I do want to show you. Shut up. This is the cool, if this is what I think it is, and it looks kind of sketchy because they do look like little pills, but my instinct tells me that like these are all numbered as well. Like I don't know if you guys can see that. These are all numbered. She's Snapchatting me right now. It's so funny. Um, but these are all numbered. And my guess is that like inside each one of the little capsules is like a little piece of paper that talks about what's in this. She's, how do you think of this? This is so creative. And these are adorable. Like they have little faces on them. I'll show you guys as I pull them out. Uh, so this is the card, and it goes very much with the theme. Super pretty. I'm gonna try and just get this in frame so you guys can see that. Look at how glittery, okay. Okay, so like I said, I'll read this, and if ultimately I decide it's not for your ears, I'm gonna cut it out here. So it says, Dear Sam, here we go again. Honestly, you did not have to get me anything else. I loved all you got me before, but I really appreciate all you did for me and all you bought me, even though I haven't seen it yet. And I haven't sent it yet. Um, I had a lot of fun making a bunch of things for you. I wanted to do that because then I'm giving you something unique that no one else has. Sorry I didn't buy as much makeup this time. You have a lot and I don't always remember what you have. Plus you just did a huge declutter so I don't want to add a ton when you just got rid of a ton. I hope that's okay. I hope you like everything and thank you again for befriending me. Um, P.S. To open gifts, find the right happy pill that corresponds to the gift. Everything is numbered 1 through 15. 15 has two boxes. If you get confused, feel free to ask. Each happy pill can be opened and has a note inside. Have fun. So absolutely adorable. And like she said, um, this for me is not going to be a ton of makeup. And I knew this. She, she sews a lot of her own clothes. She's very, very creative in that way. And so I know she made me a lot of stuff. And I'm so amped on that. I love getting homemade gifts. It's the same reason, like, I love making homemade cards for people. Um, I feel like it's so much more personal. Like she said, it's more unique. It's stuff that you can get that nobody else will ever get you that nobody else has. So that is exactly what these are, is exactly what I thought. So I got to find number one. What if I lose a pill when I open the bag? Oh, my goodness. So there's 15. Do I have a little box that I can put these all in? No, but what I have is a roll of tape. So I'm going to set that on my desk and then I'm going to put them in the roll of tape. Yeah. Okay. So here's number one. So there, and then once I open them, I'll put them back in the bag. We're going to be smart about this. So this is the little, I'm going to show you guys the little face. Do you guys see the little face on the little pill? So cute. These are adorable. I'm going to... I wish I could kind of just like cheat and reuse these, but I already made all those tags. So that seems like uh, a bit of a cheap, cheap, cheap out if I do that. So they're all like these little tiny notes and it looks like they've got like little, like, I can't remember what these are called, like D rings or something like that, um, that you use to make jewelry. So 
these are really tiny. Okay. Okay. Try not to make a mess here. This video is going to be really long, so um, if you haven't already, grab yourself a drink and some popcorn and then come back. So it says, I got to find the gift first. Oh my gosh, I was just going to start reading. Eight. Okay, I might have to take everything out of here. Eight. Thirteen. This we know is four. Five. Seven. My dad's yelling. Okay. Number one. Item number one. Let's read. This was an impulse buy. I got one for myself. I couldn't resist. It's gorgeous. Plus, we can use it for our collab. Ooh, okay. What could it be? Let's get in here. I should have emptied my garbage bag before I did this. Oh my goodness. We talked about this. She talked about how we should get this and I couldn't get it because it's not, it wasn't available up in Canada at the time. So it's the NYX I Love You So Mochi, I think, um, which I assume is like those, I know what they are. I don't know what they are. Let's just pretend. Um, I saw this and I loved it and I actually wanted to get it for her. But like I said, um, I couldn't get it up here yet. So it is like a beautiful, beautiful palette. Ooh. I always love these palettes that have like these bright, bright colors. I have nails right now, so I can actually get the tape off of it. But I want you guys to see without the glare of the plastic. <gasps> so they're all shimmery, which I love. I like matte shadows, but I'm one of those girls that actually prefer shimmery shadows. So I am super, super amped to play with that. That's awesome. That's number one. Where's my little, where's my little number two pill? Okay, number two is a little blue pill. Take the blue pill or the red pill. No, nobody. Okay, that's, he's just a little happy guy. Get this one open. I'm going to make a total mess of this. I'm going to lose these. But they're so cute. So this time the paper is pink. Okay. This one says... Just some fun things I found that I hope you will like. The colors are gorgeous, and since you decluttered, I don't think you have any quite like these. Okay, so now I have to find number two. Did I already take... No, it's right in front of me. Perfect. Perfect. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to start looking for things that are already on my desk and, like, not be able to find them. Do you know what I'm saying? Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so it's three lipsticks awesome love y'all know i love me some lipsticks so it is two nyx one and uh the bomb girls lipstick starring james bomb and foxy pout oh my goodness how cute is that it makes me want to keep the packaging and i'm guessing that this is the color which is really pretty does it have a name foxy pout oh this is cool it kind of looks like a silver like a bullet it's really really classic packaging Ooh. That's a really, really pretty color. Let's give her a little swatchy swatch. Oh, it's kind of got like um, like a bit of like a metallic-y kind of shimmer. Do you guys see that? It's got like some gold reflex is what it looks like. That's really pretty. It's really creamy too. Doesn't smell particularly great. It doesn't smell bad, but nothing special. But that's awesome. I'm so excited to have that. And then it's two of these NYX In Your Element, the Air Ones that she taped together real well. I can't get them apart. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so one is in the color Glossy Peach. Oh, why do they tape them so well? I hate packaging. Okay, here we go. So this first one's in Glossy Peach and the other one is in Matte Rose. So I'm guessing one is a glossier finish and one is a, oh, these are cool. They're very, very like different shaped packaging because they kind of like taper at one end. That's kind of interesting. That's cool. <gasps> Ooh, I don't have any color like this. She is absolutely right. Um, I do have a lot of like corally oranges, but I don't have anything quite this pale. <gasps> Look at it. That's so pretty. That is really, really pretty. I'm really tempted to put this. I'm not going to. 
I'll have to use all of these in a video because actually if you guys saw all the stuff she got me last time she did a whole makeup series revolving around what I got her and I'm not exactly going to do that because I don't want to totally copy her but it did inspire me to sort of start doing because I don't do favorites videos because I find for me personally like when I'm in a kick of using something I use it for forever until I kind of get bored of it like I don't change up every month and stuff like that so what I figured I would do instead is every time I get new makeup throughout the month I'll put it like in a separate area and then at the end of the month I will do like a she did like a new year new makeup so I would do a month in makeup kind of review of all the new products that I've tried with the exception of what I get in like my top box and my ipsy um of all the new makeup that I've tried and how I like it and how I don't. So if you guys are curious how I've been liking the makeup she got me, I am going to throw that in a January month review just because I, I did use a lot of it in December, but I didn't really start using it frequently until after the declutter series I did. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, it is going to be coming up in the next couple of days. I have to just film it and I will end up doing the same with all of this stuff at the end of um, February and you'll also see me use a ton of this in tutorials I'm sure so this is the other color this is that matte rose which is a beautiful beautiful oh I love that pink that's a very very unique pink because it's not quite like a baby pink and it's not really like a dusty rose and it's also not necessarily like a hot pink that's a very unique pink I really like that it's almost like um, kind of like a watermelon pink it's really really pretty though and it's a lot of different finishes. There's like a metallic shimmer and then a glossy and then a matte. So that is awesome. Number three. Number three is yellow. Number three. These also kind of remind me um, in like Mario Kart. Like if they had like more like a, do I have a red one? I don't. But if there was a red one, it would kind of remind me of like the mushrooms in Mario Kart. I don't know where this idea is coming from. My mind wanders sometimes. I apologize. Kind of. <laughs> Not really. Just who I am. Alright. Number three. You write so pretty and so tiny. This is my favorite right now. It's perfect for an all over tan look. Ooh. Fit for a princess like you. Hope you love it. Ooh. Number three. This is number three. It's round. I'm guessing it's a bronzer. If I were to, to wager again. There's a lot of tape on this. There we go. Oh, I've really wanted to try these. I see a lot of people have these. These are the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Bronzers. They have SPF 15 in them. This is in Ticket to Brazil. I've really want these are huge. I've really wanted to try these. And like the only place you can really get Wet n Wild makeup here is like Walmart. They don't really have it at Shoppers. Uh, and I don't go to Walmart that often. If I'm completely honest, it's very out of my way. So I don't really shop there, but, um, this is beautiful. Look at that. And it is kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of got like a shimmer to it, which is my favorite kind of a bronzer. I'm going to swatch a little bit of it. It's a very, very fair bronzer, which would actually be like absolutely perfect for like this time of year in the winter when in theory I shouldn't be as tanned as I always am, but I normally just like load up the bronzer anyway, <laughs> just the way I am. So that is really cool. I really, really wanted to try one of these. I'm so stoked on that. That's awesome. I'm going to put that over there because I'm, I, the box is too big. I don't have space on my desk. Number four. My computer made a noise. I'm so sorry. Number four. Look at him. Little baby. Oh, sorry. It's focusing on me, not the pill. There we go. Little, little, boy, little baby. Okay. Oops. 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 Okay. They're so tiny. Like, I would have... I don't know how frustrated you got making these, but I would have, like, given up after the second one. Like, these are rolled, like, perfectly. So creative. So cool. Okay. This was a must. This new release is better than I thought it would be. The color colors work well together. Great addition to your collection. Okay. Number four. I've already put that on my desk. So that's this one. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is one of those Wet n Wild. Um, again, like I said, color icon, not a basic peach. 
These colors are so pretty. Look at these colors. These are like my favorite kind of colors to work with are like those peachy kind of pinky tones. And then that blue, like blue's my favorite color. I'm a sucker for blue eyeshadow. I don't wear it as often as I probably would like to. <laughs> I'm getting it open. Help me. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah. Can there be, can somebody put up a tutorial for me about how to properly open makeup quick and easy? That would actually be the most useful thing of my life. If somebody wants to, <laughs> to put that in the works, just for me, because I'm sure most normal people don't have this problem, but I'm kind of an oddball. So, uh, the struggle is real. This video is already 20 minutes long and I'm into the fourth thing. So sorry. I guess I don't need to open all of these, but I feel like this is almost more for my entertainment than for everybody else's. How's everyone's weekend? This isn't happening to me. Okay, wait. You got, oh, We're so close. Like, look how much is left. I'm going to break a nail. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're in. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, ten colors in here, and it actually shows you, like, transition and stuff. These are so, so pretty. And I actually do really like when they tell you, like, how to do looks on the back. I actually do try and follow them sometimes because you can get really cool looks out of them. So I'm loving those two center colors at the top, like the two shimmery ones. So excited to use this. One of them looks like it could be a dupe for a matte color I have. I'll have to look into that. What are we on? Five? Okay, five's just another little happy pill. I'm not going to show you guys all of them because I'm sure you're getting real bored of that. And this video is already super, super long. Because I ramble. Just all around great products. I think you will be very surprised. The colors are nice too. Okay, got it. Number five. Okay, there's two things in here. Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Trios. And eyeshadow quad. I'm not going to spend time opening these again because that seemed to be what ate up my time, but this one is in hooked on vinyl and this one is in silent treatment. So I'll show you guys here. These are really, really pretty. And I've seen a lot of people that use these. Like I've had them in the past. I had a couple wet and wild ones. I don't remember what they were, but I gave them away because I just wasn't using them. But like I loved them. They were so good and I am so... I love that green, if that is green. Maybe it's black. I don't know. It kind of looks like a really, really dark forest green, but super pretty. I'm going to have to play with these for sure. And I love these, like, smoky kind of, like, pinky purple colors. I love doing looks like that. That's going to be so nice. So cute. So excited right now. I love playing with new makeup. It makes me so happy. And because... I started a new job and I took like three weeks off in between. Um, I haven't had as much money to play with makeup as I normally do. Don't feel sad for me. I don't need to. And I've been, since I decluttered, I've really been avoiding buying a ton of new makeup. So I'm really excited to like have some new stuff to play around with. I'm so amped right now. And number six is sitting right in front of me. So that is perfect because this is, I believe, number six. Look how beautiful her writing is. Let me just show you guys really quick. So pretty. So this says, sorry, this one is wrapped so funky, but don't let this deceive you. This guy is a holy grail item for me. Oh, I see what she meant. Look how much tape there is. Did you use a whole roll of tape just for this one thing? Ooh. So it's a pressed powder and I've only like really got one pressed powder that I like use and that's my Mac one. And I've kind of been looking for another one. Um, it's in warm light, which I'm sure is perfect for me. Um, and it is one of their goodbye photo flashbacks. So awesome. 
because a lot of you probably know too I use really really dewy um foundation and like I don't mind being dewy but sometimes it would be nice to be like a little more shine free so I'm super super amped on this oh it's so soft too like it's powder but it doesn't feel super powdery that's really really pretty and it does look like the color like it blended out so well it looks like it's going to be perfect for me photo focus press powder is what it's called so cool helps eliminate white particle reflection cool Ooh, to read all the stuff on here it's really cool with top smartphone models with and without flash under seven light conditions that's what it was tested under i love reading stuff like that on the back of things i find it so interesting am i the only one where's number seven number seven i can't get it number seven come on there we go Trying not to lose all these people. Oh, I say it and then I lose one, right? Okay. New release. I haven't tried this yet, but I know you really like this, like stuff like this. Do I? Where's number seven? Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Number seven. I really like stuff like this. Hmm. trying to think of what it could be while I'm opening it and it's just like no idea over my head it's in a tube it is new <laughs> come on halo graphic oh my goodness is this I love these so much. Um, so it looks like it's a, I can't get the paper off, but it looks like it's like a liquid highlighter, like a mega glow liquid highlighter. And I did just get rid of like my um, other Wet n Wild one, but a lot of the reason I got rid of it was because the lid was broken and it was bothering me. <gasps> but this is a liquid highlight. Look how pretty that is. I got to get into this. I, wa I was really going to try not to open everything that I got because, you know, that would make this video longer than it's already going to be but I need to see this. So it comes in like a little like glass container and then you screw the lid off and is it like a, yeah, it's like a doe foot applicator. That's huge. Uh, let's see. <gasps> Ooh, you are so right. This is so up my alley. Look at how pretty. Can you guys see that? It's like got like pink reflect in it. Reminds me a lot of Benefit High Beam, but actually like more, more pink. <gasps> That's so pretty. I hadn't even heard about these. Hello, Halo. Uh, hello. I really want to read you my makeup now. We'll see what I get up to tonight, but I'll probably just stay home and play with makeup. Because what girl doesn't love to do that? Number eight, number eight, number eight. Okay. I'm running out of room in the little baggie for all of the little notes. Okay. Number eight. You like these, so I wanted to get you some. What are they? What number are you, friend? That's 13, 12, 10, 9, 14. Help me. She made this hard on me. She hid stuff from me. 11, 15 is two. Must be the. You guys, that's just paper. Did I lose something? Got it. This is exactly what I said. Bubble wrap for days. This is exactly what I said would happen is I would put stuff on the desk and then I would misplace it. Such a scatterbrain. I apologize. What is it? What is it? <gasps> oh my god. I'm so pumped right now. She's so right. So if you saw the last video that she did, she took a bunch of like these little itty bitty like notepad paper and these little tiny envelopes and that's how she gave me all of my like notes and stuff. <gasps> these are so cute. And like I said, I make cards and these are actually like perfect gift card size as well. So these would be really cool to work into my card making and like stick inside cards to use like for gift cards. So cute. These are so, so cute. 
or to leave little notes for I don't have anyone to leave notes for but if I wanted to these would be really cute oh that's so sweet that's so thoughtful of her that she's I can't believe you sent that to me that's so cute because I was like raving about these when she sent them to me these are so freaking cute I'm so pumped right now number nine number nine number nine I'm running out of room there's bubble wrap everywhere okay okay the bag's getting kind of full is this bubble I don't want to like yank this but like it's in my way so oh this is a long note this is one of my fave series of merchandise Disney has ever done I wanted you to have something from this collection but it's a surprise can't wait to see it okay so number nine, it's like a hex hexagonal box, and she put a little bow on it. I love Disney. I'm so excited. One surprise figure. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, I've never had any of these before. These are like those like cute little vinyl figures that are like mystery. So this one's in a little pencil case. It says Animators Collection Littles. <gasps> I love this pencil case too. Okay. Includes one surprise figure, one display case. Okay, whatever. Uh, I want in. I'm going to open it now because I am really, really, like, amped on these kind of things. Okay. I can't get it open. Help me. I'm so excited. These are so cute. She has so many of these, too. Like, I see them always in, like, the background and stuff. And I see them all the time in stores. Like, we just got a Hot Topic in our mall, and I was, like, in there looking at them all. And I didn't buy any because I don't even know. I wouldn't even know where to start. So you get like a little blind bag. Let's get in. Oh, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Shut up. Oh my God, Mickey, you're going to be so amped right now. I think if this is what I, I'm really confused. So what do I get? A surprise figure, a display case, connectors. Collector's Guide, Surprise Drawing. I'm so confused. Okay. So mine is a bed. I don't know what the connectors are for. Can someone explain this? Learn to draw Elsa. So it's like a little guide. I got a bed. I don't know what bed it is, though. Lilo's no Elsa's bed oh my god how like convenient is that so I got Elsa's bed I wish I had a bed that looked like this when I was a kid I actually did have a canopy bed because I was a princess I don't really understand how to use the collectors or the connectors not the collectors but tray includes 24 okay so I guess the display case is actually like you're meant to use the pencil like a so and put the little bed in there and then um like there's a glass bottom on this I think and you do that and then it's like you can see it and then I guess oh the connectors do you know what the connectors are for it's if I get more than one you like put them like that and you can stack them on each other I get it so smart I'm so smart so yeah I got a little little Elsa oh it's upside down Elsa's bed how convenient. It's so cute that, like, these are surprised and it just happened to be frozen and the whole thing is, like, frozen themed. These are cute. I'm going to have to actually maybe start looking out for those and getting more. Really fun to do. I really enjoyed doing the advent calendars when I got those for Christmas, so that was fun, too. Okay. I saw him and just knew he had to be yours. He matches your socks. I got Donald Duck socks and I got Mickey Mouse socks. So what kind of socks are we matching? Okay. So it's just a little, little thing, little box. Let me in box. Look at the little pink box. I'm going to put him on my key. Look at him. Ah! I love Donald so much. He's so misunderstood because he can't talk. Oh my god, this is adorable. I love keychains. Like, I have one key on like 12 keychains. Like, I'm ridiculous. 
He's so cute. Oh my God, I love him so much. He's gonna go sit right over here. Put him right there, because I don't want to lose him. Go sit there, Donald. You can wait until later. Number 11. I love toys. I love little things like that. They're so cute. I love collector's items. Okay, number 11. Don't know where it is, but we'll figure it out. Okay. This is something that you just needed in your life. It's great to take shopping. Okay. I shop. I like to shop. Where are you, number 11? Is this it? This is 14. This got to be it. Okay, number 11. There's a big 11 on it. I don't want to rip anything. Ooh. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, so it's like a reusable bag, which I love. I have tons of. I take them everywhere, but look at this one. <gasps> Lipstick is always a good idea. Heck yeah, it is. This is freaking amazing. I almost like want to like eventually I'll be buying a house and I plan to buy like a couple bedroom house if you know what I'm saying when I do it and I kind of want to do a room dedicated for like like how everybody has filming rooms and stuff for makeup and whatnot like I want to have a room dedicated to my makeup and all my card making stuff and like not that I don't want to use this as a bag but how cute would this be if I just like framed it and put it above all of my lipstick. I love this. Where did you find this? This is so cute. All of mine are lame. They all have like pictures of food on them. This is so cute. I love this. So, so much. That's so, I can put all my stuff in it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, what number am I on? I can't even remember. 12, where's number 12? Okay, okay. My face hurts from smiling. This reminds me of when I used to work at McDonald's. <laughs> Except this is genuine and that McDonald's was always really fake. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of writing on this. I couldn't pass these cuties up. They're Disneyland exclusives. <gasps> oh, I love Disney so much. Okay, and you can't get them anywhere else. By the way, when I come down there, I know she goes to Disneyland all the time. She's going to have to take me because I've never been. Um, they represent different lands and attractions at Disney. Okay. Number 12. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! So these are those, like, I think they're called Tsum Tsums, and I see these all the time on everybody else's everything, and, like, I'm always like, I want those, but you can't really get them. These are the cutest cutest things I've ever seen. Okay. So this one, do they say what they are? Just remove tags. Well, that's not helpful. Tomorrowland Racer Donald. Look at him. They're so cute. Like, look at his little hat. I love him so much. I love him. He's my favorite. I love cars. And you got like, look at his little race car. Mm, look at his little checkered flag. They're so cute. I'm kind of glad that my dogs are over their toy face, so at least I know they're not going to get a hold of him. <gasps> he looks like a little bellhop. So this is, what are you? What are you? Tot Goofy. I don't know what that means. But he's so cute. He's so fuzzy. <gasps> Where am I going to put these? I'm going to figure that out. They're going to need a very special, special place. Pluto. I love Pluto. Can't go wrong. Miss Dapper. Look at him. He's like, look at him. Look at his little tail. He's so cute. Oh, he's got a bow tie. You guys. Stop. He has a bow tie. And I got another, another little Donald. I get, oh, it's Daisy. I should have known that. Look at the eyelashes. Uh, uh, Miss GSTSRV Daisy. Well, I don't know what that means, but uh, do you say inside? No. Oh, well, Mickey, you're going to have to let me know where these are all from because I'm oblivious. But, see, and, and like, you'd think it'd be obvious because 
she's wearing a skirt, but in my head, I thought it was a kilt, and I was like, is there, like, a Scottish place in Disneyland? <laughs> Shows what I know. So cute. Those are freaking adorable. I love Disney so much. And I love, like, original Disney, too. Like, not just, like, Disney movies, which I do love, like, the princesses and all that, but, like, original, like, Mickey Mouse gang kind of thing. So cute. I almost said Mickey Mouse Club, but that is not what I meant. Although that was fine at one point in my life, too, when I liked those kind of shows. I can't get the little pills out. Number 13. Okay. We're, get, we're getting close, you guys. We're almost done. I'm getting so excited. Like, I'm hyperventilating. Okay. I'm so happy you like stuffed animals. So true. I have so many penguins. It's actually ridiculous. He is one that you can relate to. He will be gloomy a lot, but he smiles sometimes too. What? Again, I have like a vague instinct of who I think this is because I think I mentioned it to her. Is this? Look at him. I love Eeyore so much. He was always my favorite because he was just so, like, and this sounds really sad. I do relate to him because I get, like, when I get bummed, I get, like, real bummed out and, like, tend to bum everybody else out. Like, I know you guys don't really see that side of me because I'm normally, like, wired when I'm on here. But when I get, like, upset and, like, down, I'm really down. And I always related to him because, like, he always relied on his friends to get him out. And, oh, my God. I used to have an Eeyore stuffed animal and I don't know what happened to him. But it made me really sad, and now I have one. And I love him. I feel like such a child. Like, I'm crying because of a stuffed animal. I'm 28 years old, but he's so cute. He's so soft. I just need, like, 10 minutes. I'm just gonna... I don't want to put him anywhere. I'm gonna put him right here. Because I'm gonna snuggle with him later. Because that's... Like, I don't want to put him down. I just want to cuddle. He's so cute. He's, like, the perfect little snuggle buddy. Number 14... You can never have too many of these, plus I wanted to make you ones that were unique and different. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> yes. Okay, so if you guys saw the last one, she made me the most beautiful makeup bag I've ever owned in my entire life. And it was Disney Princess. And I loved it. And she... <gasps> Shut up. Okay. Okay. speechless like she knows me so well she is so attentive is that the word I'm looking for attentive I don't know she pays attention let's just go with that to what I say you guys where did you even find this material how did you even find this in California like I know they have hockey teams but like really like look at this this is the coolest makeup bag that I will oh it's silver lining hmm this is the, and it's got a little snowflake. I am, this is like so Canadian. I'm so pumped on this. Oh my God. I want to take this everywhere. Like I, 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 can I use this as a purse? Is that acceptable? Am I too old to have purses with themes? Cause this is freaking awesome. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I love hockey so much. I'm so pumped on that. That is so cool. And then there's this as well. So it's got a big button on it. Oh my God. Okay, so it's a makeup bag, first of all. So there's like a little second, but it also is like a mini brush roll. How, and brush rolls are freaking expensive because I keep looking into buying one and they're so expensive. How perfect is this for travel? Like, especially when I go to like, so when I went to Mexico, I didn't bring any makeup, but like, I kind of wish I had. How perfect is this? Just enough to bring like just your bare minimums, slide a few brushes in there, off you go. It's actually like, I can't believe you make these. You are so talented. If I made these, the stitches would be all over the place. It wouldn't match. It'd be ripped open. Like these are amazing. You should sell these because this is freaking awesome. I'm so pumped on this. So pumped on that. Okay, we're on to number 15, and this is the one that has two parts. And I hope 
One says 15, and then there's a two in brackets, so maybe I'm supposed to open the one in brackets for, I don't know, we'll read the little pill note and see what it says. My hair's stuck in the box. Okay, you said you didn't have any of these to hold your hair back during tutorials, and I wanted to make you some special ones. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna open 15 one first, because there's a one on it. These are real cute. The little, okay, so they look like, um, like little suitcases. So even like this is freaking adorable. Like, they're like little cardboard suitcases. Okay, so she's totally right. I was saying that, like, I don't have headbands to hold my hair back during tutorials because I'm not girly enough to wear headbands. She made these for me. I see everybody with these and I always want them. You guys, how jealous are you right now? Look at the little mouse ears with the little bow. Shut up. These are so cute. And they're all oh, these headbands are really nice too because I hate the ones that like dig in really hard. That's why I don't wear them because they give me headaches. This is so nice. I don't even want to take this off. So there's this one. This one has like, uh, oh God. Like Beauty and the Beast stained glass window ears and the big red bow. These are gorgeous. I hope you made some for yourself too because these are freaking awesome. <gasps> yes. So this is a frozen one. I wish I'd had this during my Elsa tutorial. And if I go down to Disneyland, I'm going to have to bring them with me and wear them around the park and everybody's going to be mad jealous because heck yeah. Uh, these are freaking awesome awesome and I'm so pumped there's another box there's another box <gasps> you guys these are so cool I'm so pumped right now okay so it's another little suitcase thing just like exactly like the last one let's get into it I, I want to see I'm so pumped right now I'm gonna cry again. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the Eeyore. How many do you know anybody that has hockey mini mouse ears? I don't think so. These are amazing. I we had a long conversation recently about how much I love hockey and how much I love cold weather and how it's one of the things that I'm so proud about to be Canadian. Oh my God. These are amazing. I'm going to have to like send fabric down to you and get you to make me like, like Canada day ones and like all sorts of like with Canada fabric. Like these are amazing. I would pay you to make these for me. <gasps> yes. Look at them. You know, I never thought I was really a headband kind of gal, but uh, I could get used to rocking these. These are so gorgeous. I, I'm, I'm speechless. Like, like I know, like, and, and here's the thing. Like, I know she feels bad because, and I kind of feel like guilty because a lot of what I'm sending her this time around is makeup. And I know she said in the card, like, she felt bad because she didn't get me a lot. And I really don't need a lot. Like, this stuff. Not that I don't love the makeup you got me. Don't, let me not put my foot in my mouth here. I adore all the makeup you got me. I'm so pumped to use it. It is beautiful. And I don't have anything quite like it. It's all very unique to me. I'm so pumped on it. But, like, this stuff. Like, the little, like, Disney things. And by far, my favorite things... Like, these bows and these mini ears and, like, the bags. Like, I'm just in awe of, of her talent, of her generosity, of her thoughtfulness. Like, like she themed these to me as a per... Like, I... Mickey, you're the only one that can really make me speechless and take the words right out of my mouth because that doesn't happen a lot unless I'm sick and have no voice. So, um... That's it for this um, unboxing. 
and I'm sure you guys agree it was amazing and I am so grateful and so thankful to have made a friend like Mickey um and like I said when I come down to visit you ears are all coming with me because I'm gonna be wearing them when you take me to Disneyland because you're gonna because you don't have a choice um I'm like, the thing that I'm itching for the most right now is to run downstairs and go show my mom all these things that you made me because these are amazing. I'm so in awe of your talent. And if you want to send me more mouse ears, I would take a million more pairs. Uh, just so you know. Um, it's funny because I made her some stuff too and she knows that it's coming because she asked me to, like cards, but like my cards are nothing compared to these. Like these are the coolest things I've ever owned in my life. Um, so... Sorry this video was, sorry not, sorry that this video was too long. Um, I wanted to make sure I could show you guys everything and take time to actually enjoy this and not rush through it. Um, if you stuck through the whole thing, thank you so much for watching. And more importantly, Mickey, thank you so, so much for agreeing to do this with me again. Again, I feel like I didn't do enough for you. Um, I thought I was being so original with some of the stuff I did and you just blew me out of the water again and I haven't even sent my package and like I want I'm gonna send it but like now I kind of don't want to um because it's just not this good and I just can't I can't match up to you um so thank you so much for doing I'm gonna message you after as soon as I finish filming this and thank you like in person not over my YouTube but thank you so much for doing this for me again it means the world to me that you take the time I know how busy you are that you took the time to sit and make all of these it's like all I did was shop like it doesn't take long to do like the fact that all the time that you put into this is just it, it boggles my mind and these are so amazing I, I can't get over it um thank you so much and thank you everybody for watching if you like this video hit the thumbs up button go check out Mickey's channel I'll link it down below she is a sweetheart you will love her like I love her. I promise you that. Um, and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Mickey's channel. We would both really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.